it was about an hour before they were supposed to be down there. I bet you there wasn't one guy missing. They were already ready to go. And uh, so it was great to see. And uh, he's right. You don't have to give them a pep talk. Just get them on the bus and get them in. One guy doesn't make a team. There's certainly great players all around on both sides of the ball. There's certainly one superstar that has stood out all year. Number two, talk about your quarterback. He's a super kid. Great kid. You know, and, and the thing you love about Cam is unselfish. Uh, he loves all the, all the guys on his team. And, you know, he's out there throwing balls to walk on guys, you know, because he loves to play. And uh, I think it just shows in his game. Uh, loves being a part of the One of your position players tonight, Coach Darvin Adams, set an SEC record for championship for yards. Talk about his play throughout the season and tonight. You know, he's been totally unselfish. We've been asked to block when we started out running football and running the quarterback, and they did just that. And I told him his day would come. You know, before the game even started, he'll tell you, I told him, for us to win, we're going to have to make plays on the perimeter. They're going to put nine and ten guys in the box. That's disrespectful to tell you they're going to leave you one-on-one. -on -one. So you got to go out there and make plays. And not just him, but the rest of the guys. They rose to the challenge. One player who didn't start his Auburn career as a receiver, who ended up as a receiver, number 18, epitomizes what it means to be an Auburn man, Cody Burns. You know what? When you talk about a rock wall, you know how the little rocks hold the big rocks together? He's all little rocks. And everybody rallied around that guy. And he's exactly what Auburn needs. He's a guy that's unselfish. He did what he had to do for the football team. And I promise you, that day in Auburn history, changed his football team. Coach, the Tigers are headed to Undefeated, headed to Glendale. Congratulations. Man, we are so excited. I don't even know where it is, but I'm looking forward to going. <laughs> Boy, you guys. Coach, do you all practice that jump, that tip ball play, that Hail Mary at all? Do is that something you all go over? We practice it. I don't know if we've ever caught it in practice, but we practice it a bunch. And, uh, you know, we said all along, God has shown a lot of favor to this football team. You think about the punched out ball at Alabama and had every chance to roll out of bounds and it didn't, it stays inbound. You know, these guys appreciate that. And, uh, you know, for us, we're looking forward to the next one, but we understand that there is been some favor on this football team. How, how much do you think that play changed the game at the end of the half? You know, it was huge because momentum. They just remember, kicked their little field goal and scored their touchdown. And then for us to come back and do that right before the half, I mean, the, the whole group was just jumping on, on pins and needles. They couldn't wait for halftime to be able to get back out. Thank you, Coach. You got it. Woo!